All right, I'm super excited to have found Jim Downing wandering the paddock here. Jim is one of the most famous IMSA drivers of all time. And one of the reasons is that he won in every category at IMSA that he competed in. And the car we're standing in front of is the car that he won the 1981 IMSA RS championship in. It's a Mazda RX-3, and it was one of many years that Mazda ended up winning the RS championship. He was so successful with Mazda that they asked him to move up a category to uh, GTO, and he said, I think we should go prototype racing. So Jim was the architect of the Camel Lights class as well, among many other things. So uh, Jim, what was it like to race his car? Well, it, it was probably the most fun I had in racing. <laughs> you know, we were on modified street tires. You slid all over the place. The racing was with sometimes 80 or 90 cars in one class, and it was just a thrill. If you're having a bad day and you were back in 50th place, you still had, you still were able to race with somebody as hard as you could go. So, and you still won a little bit of money at the end of the day, anyway. Uh, it was an amazing time. There was there was money, and we could just make it. You know, you could make a living doing this. You you aren't going to stay in the best hotels, but you, but you but you could pay pay your guys and keep going. Sure. What did you do after the 1981 season? Well, we built the RX-7, uh, and uh, I won the championship with it. That was the first Camel GT championship that you won. Yeah, in GTU. That's that's right. And, and then we went to the prototypes for several years, and, and you know, we had a good record there, so. Well, he not only had a good record, he won the championship three years in a row, but I think that he was very sneaky about it. He decided to create a class that he already had a one-year head start on everybody. Whatever works. <laughs> and the RS series was super important because it provided guys with uh, a way to go racing that didn't cost as much as going in the Campbell GT series. But a lot of the guys that did well in the RS series, like Jim, uh, Don Devendorf, and Roger Mandeville, they all moved up into the Camel GT series. And some stayed with Mazda, like Jim Downing and Roger Mandeville. Um, so the RS series was super important, and it became more and more sophisticated over time. But Mazda dominated for those years with a rotary base with a, a two-rotor engine, a 13A and a 13B uh, engine in it. And uh, the cars were so loud that it was crazy. In fact, Jim tells the story that uh, one time he was at Daytona and he passed a guy and he looked over and the other driver was actually carrying his, his ears over his helmet. And uh, that's how loud the cars were. So it's super cool to see it here at the Monterey Historics.